Okay, we're going to be looking at some different circle segments uh, today. So the first thing we're going to talk about is angles that actually touch the circle. Now, I do want you to remember that if we have a circle like this and an inscribed angle that's completely inside formed by two chords right there, if this is a 40 degree arc, for example, the inscribed angle is half, so that's 20 degrees. A similar but not quite the same thing that happens is something like this, where if this arc here, AB, was 140 degrees, then this angle here, which is technically not an inscribed angle since it's formed by a tangent and a chord, but it's still 70 degrees. So it doesn't matter if the angle is actually inscribed or if it's one of these where the vertex is on the circle with the tangent line going outside the circle, it's still half of the arc. Another interesting thing that happens on the second diagram is if, since this is 140, I know the entire, uh, well, two ways to get there. I could do 360 minus 140 to get the arc, or I could do 180 minus 70 to get the angle. I'm going to do that because the number is a little bit smaller. So there's a 110 degree angle for angle two, and that means that this thing here, this arc here, would be twice as, <coughs> excuse me, twice as big as angle two, so that's 220 degrees. So I've got 140 plus 220 will be a total of 360. Several different ways to get there, important relationships there. Uh, the next thing we need to look at is angles in a circle. Uh, this is where you have two chords that actually intersect inside a circle, and this is gonna end up being half the sum of the arcs. So just to give you a quick example there, if this was a let's say 40 degree angle there from A to D, arc from A to B, and let's say that that was a 60 degree arc. That means angle one, the angle in the middle, is one half the sum. You're basically taking the average of those two angles. So half the sum is half of 100 or 50. And notice that uh, it's 50, whether you're talking about this angle here on this side or this angle here on the other side, those are vertical angles. They're across from each other. They're both 50 degrees. Of course, angle two and the angle opposite from it, I'll mark those in red. That angle and the one across from it are also equal, but of course they wouldn't be um, 50 degree angles. You could actually figure that out by doing a 180 minus 50 since they make a straight line and that would be a 130 degree angle, but that's more than the problem required. Uh, the last situation is you can actually have angles that are formed by segments outside of the circle. And this one, I think of this as a little nose angle. You can almost see how it looks like a nose. So if you've got one of those little nose angles, you're going to be talking that it's half the difference of the arcs. So that means like if this arc here was, let's say, 180, and let's say this arc here is 80, I would do one half the difference between the big arc, which is the one that's further away, and the small arc, which is the one that's closer. And that would also get be, be a value of 50 degrees for angle one there. You don't always get an answer of 50. I'm just making up numbers that happen to be 50 today. And I do just want to mention that that is a situation where you have a secant and a tangent, but it works exactly the same if you have a situation like this where you have two sec sorry, two secants. Need to stop getting too close to the edge of my screen there. Two secants, that's going to work the same. Or even if you have a situation like this where you have two tangent lines, it's still going to work the same. Uh, the only thing that's a little different about two tangents is two tan if it's two tangents, they only actually have to give you uh, one of the arcs. For example, they could say this smaller arc is 120, and now you could subtract to get the bigger arc is 240 because 120 plus 240 is 360, so just subtract from 360. So if they just gave you the 120, you could figure out the 240, and then you could say this angle here is one half the difference in these arcs. So one half of 240 minus 120 is half of 120, which is a 60 degree angle. So 60 degrees for your little nose angle there. Hopefully this will help you. Uh, these are on your geometry uh, fact sheet as well, and that's a good reference to keep looking back at, making sure you know everything you need to about these different uh, types of problems.